Hello everyone, this is Sapam Gayatri, a research scholar from the Department of Physics, Manipur University. I'm working under the supervision of uh, Professor K. Jugendra Singh. Uh, today's posture is about fermion tunneling across the event horizon of uh, rotating BTZ black hole. We will take into account the quantum gravity effects. Uh, to obtain the modified Hawking temperature. So um, uh, we are all familiar with the word Hawking, uh, Hawking radiation and what are black holes. So uh, classically, we know that black holes are perfect absorbers and they do not radiate any particles nor emit radiation from it. However, if we, uh, if we, uh, if we take this picture uh, 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 into a different perspective, it changes. So when quantum field theory um, uh, with general relativity is taken into account. We say that black hole emits radiation called Hawking radiation named after Stephen Hawking and it, uh, it, is, it is the thermal radiation that is uh, predicted to be uh, spontaneously emitted by a black hole. So it arises from the steady conversion of quantum vacuum fluctuation into pairs of particles, one of which escape at, uh, uh, at the uh, infini infinity while the other will be trapped inside the black hole. I'll uh, try to I'll stretch some part here, but the, the quantum vacuum fluctuation part. So uh, the central idea here that we use is that we consider that a particle and anti-particle uh, anti pair is formed very close to the horizon of a black hole and we divide the field associated with a particle in uh, which are going towards the center of the black hole and which are come, trying to move outside the black hole those that are that try to go towards the center of the black hole will be trapped inside the black hole while the outgoing modes try to move outside the black hole through the quantum tunneling effect and here the event horizon will play the role of a barrier now if the particle that comes out of the universe has a positive energy then such a particle can stably exist and this is what we see as radiation from the black hole now what happens if the particle has a negative energy the negative energy gets absorbed by the black hole but if it comes if it if it all comes out then it will not be able to exist in the universe as negative energy are forbidden and they cannot exist in the universe so many researchers have worked under this uh, idea of quantum tunneling effect from a black hole so they have considered uh, many uh, many black holes like a Schwarzschild uh, black hole Kerr Newman black hole etc so i'm going to consider the rotating btz black hole here so uh, what do we mean by rotating btz black hole by rotating i mean the black hole will be rotating so btz black hole is a type of a black hole and it is an exact solution of einstein field equation in a two plus one dimensional theory of gravity and uh, by uh, by two plus one i mean uh, we all know what we mean by two plus one it's the dimension of the um, Fill the equation and the line element of the um, BTZ black hole looks like this where FR and GR is given by this equation. Now here M, L are the mass and the angular momentum of the rotating BTZ black hole and uh, which are defined by the limits over here. And the rotating BTZ black hole has a negative cosmological constant, which is minus 1 by L squared. Now, this particular equation has, a, uh, has four roots, out of which only two has, meaningful, uh, has a meaningful uh, answers for the event horizon of the rotating BTZ black hole. So, uh, this is given by R plus and R minus. So, this R plus and R minus, by R plus and R minus, I mean for R plus, it is for the outer event horizon, and R minus is for the inner event horizon of the rotating BTZ black hole. Now, um, uh, when I say there is a, a pair particle, uh, uh, and a particle and antiparticle pair formation, and the event horizon, and I can I said that there will be a quantum tunneling effect of particles over there. By particles, I mean it could be scalar particle, it could be fermion particle, it could be vector particles. So in this posture, in this paper, I'm going to consider the fermion particles. And for the particles that I consider, we need a fill equation to solve the equation to solve the problem right so the fill equation that i use here is a direct equation but i i mod but we, we use the modified direct equation as we are going to take into account the quantum gravity effect so the direct equation looks like this so 
uh, uh, the we we need the respective gamma matrices for the BTZ black hole that satisfy this particular uh, direct equation, modified direct equation. So the gamma matrices for the BTZ black hole, rotating BTZ black hole looks like this, and um, the, we need a wave function that satisfies this equation. So we will consider this as the fermion particles will have a spin up and spin down. For, I'm calculating for spin up here and the equation looks like this. Similarly, for spin down also, we will use the same one. It does not have any effect on it. And so while, uh, while we use uh, these gamma matrices and the uh, wave function in this direct equation, we will get a decoupled equation, which I did not put it in my poster because the equation is too big. So uh, after solving the decoupled equation, we will get an equation of motion for the emitted fermion particle looks like this. So it is a function of t phi and r. So we will we since we are going to consider the Hawking radiation, it will be a radial uh, radial function. So we will try to solve for the radial part of this equation. So the radial part of the equation solution gives uh, uh, ha radial part of the uh, um, radial solution of the equation looks like this. Here, this uh, this term, this particular term from plus uh, from beta to till here. We will be uh, putting it by the uh, factor z because it's a huge number. We'll put by this z. So marked here, this z has a has has omega here, has j here, has m here, where small m is the mass of the emitted fermion particles. J is the um, angular momentum of the uh, fermion particles, and omega is the energy of the emitted fermion particles now to solve this particular uh, to solve this particular equation of motion to get the radial part of the action we use various steps and i can mention that we use the separation of variable method and here there are so uh, the, the higher terms of beta will be neglected while doing the calculations also so by plus and minus i mean plus is for the outgoing wave and minus is for the incoming wave now uh, for the we will calculate to get to arrive to the hawking radiation we will first find the tunneling probability by the equation 2 times exponential of minus 2 times imaginary part of the radial function. So by imaginary part of the radial function, so it is this much. So it will be equal to uh, to the whatever factor is here. So uh, we will uh, we will uh, equate this particular equation with the uh, with the equation of the uh, probability uh, tunneling probability in thermodynamics which is equal to exponential of minus omega by kbt so the the, the t factor over there will be compared with this huge factor so here here by comparing i get this equation so here the uh, the, the 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 it could be written as td1 minus beta z where td is the original hawking radiation for the rotating btz black hole without the quantum correction without the quantum gravity effect so from here you can see from this particular final equation that when quantum gravity effect is taken into account it it tries to reduce the rise of the hawking temperature and uh, uh, when, uh, when, when fermion particle tunneling occurs from the rotating BTZ black hole. Now from the modified Hawking temperature, we can conclude that the, 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 the properties of BTZ black hole does not depend only on the property, only on the properties of BTZ black hole, which is mass, mom, angular momentum and the charge of the black hole. But charge, since this rotating BTZ black hole is not a charged black hole, so I do not consider charge over here. It also depends on the properties of the emitted particles, which is fermion particles. So what are the properties of the fermion particles? Omega, which is the energy, J and M, which is the mass and the uh, energy of the emitted fermion particles. So the conclusion that I draw in this paper is uh, it, 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 it coincide with the uh, answers that has already been uh, calculated by many researchers and many, uh, many, uh, many scientists so uh, this is the uh, uh, this is all about this is the um, uh, uh, the thing that I want to tell in my posture and uh, this particular uh, paper is under review right now and I'm waiting for the um, uh, good news soon so uh, this is all I want to uh, tell in my poster thank you very much